If I see a black person walking around with Trump mugs, I'm gonna punch him in the face. Charles. Uh, no, Gil. Charles. Gil. Gil. You, you really can't say that because a, you don't mean that. Oh, I mean that sincerely. <laughs> but if you see somebody, a black person with a Donald Trump, uh, I'm gonna punch mug, him right you're in, the punch eye. Him in the face. I, 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 Gail, I promise you. <laughs> I would bail you out. So just so we're clear, that is two black people yucking it up over the idea of physically assaulting other black people for exercising their right to vote. That is the utter state of the Democratic Party in 2024. And this is one of the things that most struck me, that caused me to walk away from the Democratic Party. I realized that the people they claim to care about are actually the people they hate. In 2020 and 2021, they showed me that they hated me. The average, hardworking, paycheck to paycheck American who wasn't going to die of COVID, they showed me how much they hated me in 2020, 2021. And then my eyes were opened and I realized, oh, they claim to care about women, but their policies actually hurt women. They claim to care about minorities, but their policies actually harm minorities. They claim to care about the people coming to the border, but the policies actually harm the people coming to the border. The list goes on. In this scenario, I assume that the white Trump supporter would be safe with Barkley, but the black Trump supporter isn't. Ergo, different rules for blacks than for whites. And blacks can only vote one way, because obviously. And yet, where are the racist ones, right? The Trump supporters are the racist ones, right?